Hey, welcome back. In the small city of Spring Lake Park, there's a discussion happening after an ordinance was passed. It happened a few weeks ago. It became a misdemeanor there if a pedestrian spends too much time on a median that separates major roads. Sharon went to connect with the mayor of that city to see what thought process was behind this kind of decision. Being a mayor of a growing city means having to deal with some growing pains, according to Spring Lake Park Mayor Bob Nelson. With all the different things going on in the city and the amount of traffic, there's 20,000 cars a day on County 10, 30 plus thousand on both Highway 65 and Highway 47 a day, which is a huge amount. With increased traffic on these so-called arterial highways, where speed limits are at least 50 miles per hour, Mayor Nelson says he thought the city needed extra traffic protection measures. So on February 16th, the city council passed an ordinance 4 to 1, making loitering on a highway median a petty misdemeanor. Basically, you can be in a median no longer than two traffic signals. It's a petty misdemeanor, so that's what we're trying to do is just educate it. We're not going to give out tickets right away. Nelson says he's received some pushback on the ordinance. To me, it was purely safety. I got a little bit of rebuttal because it was going to hurt panhandlers, uh, homeless people, which wasn't my intent. To me, it was a, a low impact thing. There's a lot of added intersections that we don't do this at. If they so choose, would you worried about panhandlers and that type of thing? There's other intersections they can go to that's not as deadly. The mayor cited seven pedestrian involved crashes between 2013 and 2017 as the main reason behind the city's rule. He says three of the crashes were fatal. That wasn't the intent to stop panhandling. The intent was to keep everybody safe. If that negatively affects them, it's always too bad. I don't want nobody living with a nightmare of hitting somebody or getting in a car wreck. There's a place to do this any other place. Nelson also says reducing traffic incidents will also free up the city's first responders, a team that isn't very big. We're extremely busy for the size of police force we have. You guys are already busy and now you have to enforce this rule and keep an eye on the median. Who's going to keep an eye on the median? We're not going to target it so much if it's a problem there's a report or we witness it we'll educate them in the long run we hope that people get educated we don't have to respond to it once they know about the ordinance and then my officers first responders can go about their daily business so that ordinance in Spring Lake Park is now in action it also prohibits drivers from stopping parking or suddenly decreasing their speed to talk to someone who is on the median. There are exceptions, of course, emergencies or for public utility workers. We'll be right back.